Mama Cat? George? Hello, my sniffers. My name is Marlene McCohen, and this is Cody, my African Grey. I think today it is a gray kind of day. What do you think, Cody? Cody thinks I'm gonna fly away from you. Right, Cody? Hey, you wanna come back and join me in this video? I love the sounds of like his little footsteps walking along the floor. Cody, come here. Oh my God, you're a genius. You flew away to go potty. This is a huge development. Now he's gonna climb up that thing that Vinny always climbs up. We're back, except now he knows of a nice little spot that he wants to sit on. If you guys remember my video last week with Vinny, Cody has found the exact same spot and he wants to go sit up there and now it's gonna be very hard to keep him in my video. I just know it, I just know it. Anyway, I should fill you guys in on a couple of things. First of all, how did you guys enjoy that tent giveaway last week? I loved it. I had so much fun going live and announcing the winners. I love going live, guys. If you wanna have notifications of when I go live or when I put up a video, make sure to click the bell next to my name so that you will receive all the notifications because a lot of you are telling me that you're upset you missed my live. Two of our winners were actually live, so that was really exciting to see. I should probably tell you what a sniffer is. I know you guys know what a sniffer is, but sometimes I get some funny comments saying, hey, I Googled sniffer and nothing is coming up. And I'm like, oh, I'm sure stuff is coming up, but not what you think it is. A sniffer is someone who owns birds and loves to smell them. But here's the thing, if you own birds, you love to smell them. That's just a fact, you are a sniffer. And if you wanna know more about being a sniffer, watch my funny comedy called Sniffers. It is on my channel, so check that out. No, this is gonna be one of those videos where they just do whatever they want. That's okay, Cody, I think your fans like it. What do you think? What do you think? Oh my God, his kisses are the best. I think I'm gonna start something new and I'm going to start today. For those of you who follow me on Instagram, at Marlene McCohen, I love you, you are awesome. For those of you who follow my Engage Not Caged Instagram, which I sometimes have a hard time keeping up with, but for those of you who are hashtagging Engage Not Caged and following me on Engage Not Caged, you're going to love this. We are going to be doing the featured Engaged Not Caged bird every video that I can. So today, I am going to be featuring this cute little Engage Not Caged bird because when I first saw this bird come up on Engage Not Caged, I was just fascinated. Not only that, but all the hashtags are so cute. And the featured bird is... Edgar the Crow. Come on, how can I not feature Edgar? Think about it. He's a crow and he's living the crow life. Edgar's companion always hashtags crow life, which I think is the funniest thing. Crows are so intelligent and if you follow Edgar's Instagram, you'll see how life for Edgar is just like life with any other parrot. I always love when Edgar shows up in my feed, so I thought I would give a shout out to Edgar. And hopefully this will encourage you guys to engage and not cage your birds, and also see how other birds live engaged, not caged, which I'm sure you guys already do. And if you're on Parrot Station, you know how many birds there are right now living the good life. So if you wanna join Parrot Station, come on our Facebook group. We welcome you to come enjoy all the other birdies. By the way, did I mention this is story time Sunday? I mean, I'm sure you know because it's Sunday, but I think I forgot to tell you. Welcome to story time Sunday. I have a cute story for you guys for this Sunday. And it involves George, I know. But Cody's here to represent for George, right Cody? You know, I haven't gotten all the George stories out of my system and whenever I remember one, I just have to tell you guys. So I know I tell you a lot of George stories. For those of you just tuning in, George was my first African Grey that inspired me to create this channel. And then I didn't do videos for a very long time and now I am back and then later I rescued Cody. So Cody is new to the channel. He's been with me, what guys, now like six, seven months. But I have so many George stories and Cody is here representing the African Grey stories. Actually, this story is about all of the birds, but especially George. 
So here it goes. If you've been following my channel and my Instagram and maybe my Instagram story, you might learn a lot more about me than just these bird videos. You might learn a little bit about my quirks and my obsessions and things like that, especially if you listen to my best friends speak. They love just dishing the dirt on me. And if anyone's following my sister on Snapchat, then you'll definitely have access to those like little sister behind the scenes videos that I really don't want anyone to see, but she likes to do. Oh, I think she told me now she's doing Instagram. So if you've been watching, you know a little bit about me. And if you are watching, let me fill you in. I am extremely obsessive compulsive. I've been like this my entire life. A lot of it is about aesthetics, but a lot of it is about things being super clean. I used to have real, real problems with being OCD. I think I manage it so much better now. It's kind of weird to have birds and be obsessive compulsive, but in the end of the day, you know, you love what you love and it all works out. If you know me, you know that I like everything to be really clean. Not only that, if I've just cleaned up, I don't want anyone lounging. You know like how when people lounge and then suddenly they get out the drinks and the food and the whatever else and the blankets and then suddenly the place looks a mess? Yeah, that's me. I'm one of those. I'm like, oh no, why are you messing up my design? I'm probably one of those people that would have like a whole bunch of uncomfortable couches, but they look very artsy. Now I really do have to have my couch be comfortable, but okay, on a different note. Anyway, I had the place super clean back when we lived in this apartment. And my African Grey George knew me so well. He was so in tune with me. He would know when I would breathe or when I would go, Okay, he would do it at the same time or before me. Things that I was thinking he would say because he was so in tune with my routine. And perhaps because I can be very routine, maybe that's why it was really easy for him to know what I'm going to do next. Except in a different way, I'm not very predictable and I don't stick to a schedule. I just stick to routines really well. Except African greys are extreme human behavior analysts. They know what you're going to do because they actually have like algorithms in their head. They're like, this has happened and then this has happened, which means that this will happen. That's how they are. It's so interesting. If you think you're going to get an African gray and study the gray, the gray is going to study you. It's pretty impressive, right, Cody? Yeah, Cody already knows when I'm going to say certain things and he says it before me and then I don't even get to say it because I'm so shocked. So this is what happened. I think I spent one of those days deep cleaning and then I had to go somewhere. So either I cleaned the apartment the day before, I don't remember accurately, but there's a good chance that I cleaned the apartment the day before because I knew I was gonna be gone all day and I wanted to come home the next day to a clean place. Well, I'm out filming a movie. Now, you guys have to understand, filming is long hours. So every time I know I'm going to be away, or maybe just gone for long days, but coming home at night, the people in my house, namely George and Jenna, do a really good job of spending time with the birds. They go out of their way to give the birds extra time, and sometimes do things with birds that maybe they can't exactly do when I'm around. So on this particular day, I was filming, and when you're filming, it's so exhausting. I mean, there's lights in your eyes, you gotta use all your emotions. This is like me being an actor, by the way. And you're just so exhausted by the time you drive home and you have all this weird makeup on and, and whatever else, and probably you were freezing and you're just like really stressed. I've never come home from a film set and not had the flu for a while. Like it happens to me almost every single time because you're always somewhere wearing something, freezing, or I, I don't even know. Oh, <laughs> hard to explain. Anyway, that's what it's like. So I drive home and I'm really, really tired and I'm just hoping that the house is still clean. Because remember, if it's not, even though it's late at night, I'm gonna start running around frantically, no matter how tired I am, trying to put the place back together. Not only am I going to do that, but then I have to like do my whole night routine, shower, go to bed, all of that, and make sure the birds are fed and gone to bed in case somebody forgot to do it. 
this is what I've got to do. Well, I walk into the house and it looks like a bird birthday party. I am not kidding you. All of the birds are sitting on the couch. Rio is playing really, really loudly. Most of the birds are dancing. A lot of them, Vinny has got his wings lifted and he's shaking his head dancing to this music. Picasso's just chilling. And all of the birds are extremely excited and it's super loud. And at first glance, when I walk in and nobody hears me walk in because the music is so loud, at first glance, I see popcorn and snacks and drinks and blankets and everyone's dancing and I'm just like, oh my God, it looks like a party is happening in my house, you know, except it's not a big party. It's a bunch of birds and George. George, the human, is playing Rio for all of the birds and they're all excited and they're all having a good time. And I am not too thrilled because on top of that, there's lounging going on. And you know how lounging looks when you're in that like super fast mode. But I'm happy because the birds are, you know, excited but none of them are really paying attention except for one bird, George. And George the human cannot hear me and did not notice that I came in. All the other birds are dancing and very excited. George the bird suddenly goes, um, lol. That's what I call George the human. And I hear him do this and I know what he's saying. He's trying to say, she's here. And George doesn't listen to him. He can't hear him. And then the bird goes, lol. And I'm like, this can't be happening. And then suddenly, again, my bird says, lol, lol, Marlene. And I'm thinking to myself, I cannot believe it. He's doing it like, hey, look. She's here. We got to wrap this up, you know, maybe clean up some of the snacks that we threw all over the floor. Maybe start wrapping it up, making ourselves look more contained. It's just really funny because the bird knew that I was not being noticed and I needed to be noticed. And the bird also knew to give him a warning like, hey, uh, stop your shenanigans. She's here. Buzzkill is here. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. I wasn't going to be that much buzzkill because for me, I'm like, oh my God, I'm so happy the birds are enjoying Rio. And I couldn't believe it. I'm like, you're entertaining the birds and you're giving them a good time while I'm not here. And then I'm like, well, that is a very good time. How come I don't get to sit around and watch Rio and hang out with all the birds? You know, and I, I mean, I do make sure all the birds watch movies with me and it happens, of course, because at that moment I had just been working for so long and I'm jealous. I want to be sitting watching a movie with the birds too. And then, you know, I sit down and I watch Rio too, because obviously I don't want to miss them having a really good time. And of course I'm noticing like, all of the popcorn on the floor, all of the bits from every single snack, from fruits, from everything. Like I know that I gotta pull out the dust buster and the Roomba and get to work after this, but still, still, I am thrilled that at least the birds got some attention. And I was really happy to see because this was like a long time ago. So it was kind of cool to know that the birds really, really were engaged with and being engaged with when I'm not around. I'm a little jealous that they were having so much more fun because clearly George is the cool human after that and I am like mommy, mommy's home. So yeah, that wasn't a good look for me in that moment. And the fact that my bird knew I was that kind of buzzkill, I'm like, Really? But I think he just cared because he knew that I wanted to keep things clean. He actually would make the noise of spray bottles if it got too messy. Like, hey, uh, I see some crumbs here. 
These are the things that he would do. Actually, Vinny does that now. It's so funny. It's really interesting. That is my story time Sunday. I always think that story is really cute and funny, and I'm very happy, too, that George watched both of the Rios before he you know, died. And I always think of that too, because I'm really happy that George got to see Rio. It was one of his favorite movies. And now Rocky loves Rio. It's just such a cute film. And if you didn't know, it's based off of a true story, somewhat of a true story, which is really cute to know too. And the girl in Rio, in Rio 1, had my shoes that I wore all the time. So it was kind of funny. I liked it. So yeah, that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching this Storytime Sunday. Please comment, like, share, and subscribe to my channel. It means so much to me. If you guys enjoy parrot stories, parrot videos, Cody, then come on. Press the notification bell next to my name and you will get some notifications when I come on, when I go live. And of course, we'll be having some more giveaways, so stay tuned for those. If you guys have not joined Parrot Station, that is my Facebook group for me to see your birds. Parrot Station has taken over my Facebook and all of my friends' Facebooks. I think you guys will really enjoy it. I love watching all of your birds. And that is it, guys. I love talking to you today. Follow me on Instagram, follow me on social media, wherever you like and wherever you would like to Snoop. I love it. Bye. Cody. Say bye. Bye.